Hello students, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Manish Shresht from Haryana School of Business, GJ University of Science and Technology, Hisar. Today, we are going to talk on the module Email Writing Etiquettes from the paper Business Communication. Let's have a look on the learning objectives. The first objective is to understand the relevance of email etiquettes for professional communication. Then, to know the structure of an email. To identify common errors in email communication. And finally, to know golden rules for writing effective emails. Advancement in technology has made its impact on the lives of people. Especially, it touched the field of communication. Long, handwritten letters are being replaced by emails. Now there is no need to write or type matter on papers, then put them into envelopes, stamp them and post them and finally wait for at least a week to get a reply. All these troubles can be saved just by typing your message and clicking the send button. Email enables you to send information instantly to individuals as well as groups located anywhere in the world. This characteristic of email resulted into usage of this tool of communication by a majority of organizations worldwide. Apart from professional communication, email also enjoys a vast popularity among users for personal communication. It is also considered as an effective way to get connected with your relatives and friends. Now, why to use emails for communication? it is having certain advantages. An email is an instant transmission of message. It offers vast information to be sent at a time. Information can be sent to many receivers at a time via email. It has a provision for delivery confirmation. It provides you an opportunity for faster feedback. And finally, it saves a lot of time and money for the sender and the receiver. As emails become increasingly popular tool for communication in all walks of life, there is a necessity to keep a check on what we are writing, when we are writing and how we are writing. Gravity of this check increases remarkably while writing a professional message. In order to master the art of writing effective emails, it is important to learn email writing etiquettes. Email writing etiquette is a set of rules and guidelines that people use to communicate more effectively while using emails. During a face-to-face -face conversation, it is expected from everyone to observe certain rules of behavior. Same applies to online communication. This is also commonly called as netiquette or network etiquette. It is basically the effective usage of technology to communicate with others both personally and professionally with knowledge, understanding and courtesy. Learning email writing etiquettes enables an individual to communicate effectively in both professional and personal settings. Email etiquettes eliminates confusion, miscommunication, uncertainty and increases the professional professionalism during workplace communication. Overall, email etiquettes knowledge helps in creating persuasive messages. It improves the image of the company in the eyes of receiver and it offers clarity in the message and avoids any kind of legal risk for the company. Under the structure of an email, it is perceived as a modified form of business letter. Actually, an email carries all the components of a business letter, but its format is a bit different from the usual business letter. Let's discuss some of the important components of an email contributing to its structure. The first one is from. 
it shows the email address of the sender. Then the date. This signifies the date and time of sending the message. 2. Here email address of receiver or receivers appear. CC that is a carbon copy. In case the information has to be conveyed to many recipients simultaneously, a carbon copy is used. All those email addresses will appear here. BCC Blind Carbon Copy In case the information has to be conveyed to many recipients simultaneously but you do not want to disclose their email addresses and names. Such email addresses will appear here. Subject It is a word or a phrase that has to be written here to signify main content of the message. Salutation It means greeting the receiver of the mail. It indicates the courtesy extended by the sender to the receiver of the message. It also specifies the receiver. Main body In this part, detailed message is written. Paragraphs are used where, wherever necessary. Closing it is a polite phrase indicating the end of the message. Signature It provides information about the sender of the message. Signature generally includes name, designation, affiliation, location, phone numbers, email address and web address. Attachment It is used if sender wants to some send some additional information apart from what is mentioned in the main body of the email. This additional information can be in the form of Word or PDF documents, spreadsheets, PowerPoint presentations, pictures, etc. Action buttons Every mail has some action buttons like Reply, Reply All, Forward, Move, Send, Delete, save the draft, etc. Every button has a specific action to perform. Formatting buttons While drafting an email, various buttons are available to format the written message. These buttons provide an option for changing the text color, font style, indentation, bold, underline, italics, bullets and numbers, etc. Let's go through the example given here and try to identify the subject, salutation, closing and signature in the mail. Before that, let's have a format of structure of an email. In this example, we can see that at the top, 2 is written where main recipient email address will appear. Then CC says other concerned recipients of communication. BCC signifies undisclosed recipients of communication. Then there is a subject line. Then in the message first comes salutation, then greeting, then comes the main body. After the main body there is a closing followed by signature and at the bottom of the screen, we can identify various action buttons and formatting buttons. Now look at the example. In this example, we have to identify the subject, salutation, closing and signature. As the mail signifies, the subject is registration confirmation mail by IRC. Salutation is Dear Mr. Rajkumar. Closing is Warm Regards. And signature is Kesho, Customer Care Internet Ticketing, IRC Limited, web www.irc.com. Now look at this email message. Kindly notice this mail is having all the components but still there are some errors. 
To know these errors, let's discuss some common errors that might occur while writing a professional email. The mistakes while writing an email occur when you are forwarding unrelated and unwanted mails to others. When you are failing to read the complete message before responding to it. You are not mentioning the purpose of the mail. And you are sending mails without rechecking the content. Also, others error include using wrong subject lines. Using overused words like important and urgent in subject. Forgetting salutation at the beginning of the mail. Ignoring greetings. Using your signatures repeatedly during ongoing exchange of mails in a single thread that really irritates the reader. Forgetting the attachment and mentioning the matter is attached. Sending attachments in non-compatible format. In this case, it will not serve any purpose. Sending wrong attachments. That creates a bad impression on the receiver. Using reply all button without knowing its purpose. Creating doubts by overusing BCC button for messages. Writing messages without clarity. Using a gender biased language, writing too lengthy messages, using jargons in the messages like LOL, ROFL, using sales rep for sales representatives, inappropriate use of colors, font styles, and emoticons. Overuse of these colors and font styles gives an unprofessional impression on the receiver. While considering the earlier example, here we can see what is wrong with this email message. As we can see at the top, the email ID of the sender is inappropriate and unprofessional as it is saying risky rancho. Also, under the subject line, the two words urgent and important are being used, which should be avoided. Also, the you word is highlighted for no reason. After that, an inappropriate salutation is given mentioning, hey there, dear Kala. It is giving an informal tone to a formal communication. While the main under the main message, no punctuation is given for most of the sentences and there are many grammatical mistakes. Also, at one point, an emoticon is being used. Jargons like LOL and BTW, where LOL is laughing out loud and BTW is by the way are being used. Overall, an insensitive way of writing is being used that is undermining the receiver of the mail. Understanding email etiquettes can be of great help for communicating effectively. It increases the persuasive power of the message and helps in avoiding any ambiguity. Skill to write a message with clarity is an asset for any individual. Let's take a look on some of the golden rules for writing effective emails. First golden rule. Always select appropriate email address. Let's look at an example. The emails like raudiraka at gmail.com, loverboy7redifmail.com, dashingraja at yahoo.com. All these email IDs give an unprofessional impression on the receiver. So, try to create a professional email IDs for your communication. For example, 
राकेश डॉट शर्मा एट जी मेल डॉट कॉम रवि अंडर स्कोर वी एट गति डॉट को डॉट एन सहगल डॉट सुमित एट जी मेल डॉट कॉम दीज आर बेटर ऑप्शन रूल टू बी कंसाइज इन योर मैसेज योर मैसेज शुड नॉट बी टू लेंदी एज इट क्रिएट्स लॉस ऑफ इंटरेस्ट अमंग द रिसीवर्स ऑल्सो इट शुड नॉट बी टू शॉर्ट so that message is unclear although there is no fixed criteria about the length of the message but you have to try to avoid redundancy in your message you can use eight lines formula that means do not write more than eight lines in an email message and you can follow 140 character formula where do not write more than 140 characters rule 3 be extra careful while using reply all button this is one of the most common mistake happens during email although some of the people find it's fun some press this button to show their attitude but most of the people do it due to ignorance the thumb rule is if the reply meant for everyone then only use the button reply all otherwise use the button reply rule 4 do not share confidential and personal information although we feel that emails are secure but these are not sending official mail from personal id is strictly prohibited for confidential matters prefer face to face communication and do not depend on emails rule 5 avoid forwarding chain mails and other junk material it creates a loss of credibility on the part of sender and it wastes the time and energy of the receiver for avoiding this kind of problem change your spam filter setting and never never forward a chain or a junk mail rule 6 use bcc field BCC stands for blind carbon copy. Overuse of BCC field increases doubts about sender's intentions. It also increases sense of insecurity while replying because the receiver feels that which other people are watching this communication. Always use it when identity of the recipients need not to be disclosed to each other. rule 7 give proper salutation in an email dear karan or hi karan or hi mr karan or dear sharma all these are considered as unprofessional salutation always use dear mr karan sagar as a salutation rule 8 avoid all capital messages as we can see from this slide all capital message is difficult to read and by default it is difficult to check the spelling mistake in all capital message so use sentence case for writing email messages you can use bold italics or underline to highlight a particular point rule 9 be careful about the subject line email with poor subject line lands in junk box also poorly worded subject line puts a bad impression on the receiver of the mail do not use overused words like important or urgent in your subject line always be specific appropriate and meaningful subject lines must it must indicate the purpose of the email rule 10 be careful while attaching files forgetting to attach a file is annoying to the receiver similarly compatibility issue delays the process of communication and attaching irrelevant files is also irritating for the receiver so always mention the file or files that are attached with the mail check the compatibility of files attached and always attach the required files only
Rule 11. Avoid usage of jargons, acronyms, or emoticons. As we can see on the screen, that emoticons are used for non professional males. So, for a professional male, try to avoid emoticons or acronyms like BTW stands for by the way, ASAP stands for as soon as possible, and jargons like techies, reps, algo, like reps is being used for representatives. So, a strict no to the use of emoticons, jargons, and acronyms. Few more rules are reply promptly. The purpose of communication via email is to carry out fast communication. So, we should reply to the mails received with promptness. Preferably, the receiver should reply a mail within same working day or at least within 24 hours. If you wish to take more time to reply, then send a reply mentioning the receipt of mail and approximate time take to provide the detailed reply. Next is use a courteous and friendly tone. Always use a courteous and friendly tone while drafting a message. Professional communication does not have any scope for emotional outbursts. Never reply a mail in anger. Even if you have drafted a mail in bad mood, do not send. Just cool off, read the message again, redraft and then send. With this practice, you can avoid many troubles for yourself at workplace. Do not leave the thread. If you have to reply to an email, do not compose a new mail or change the subject. It will make you and the receiver connected with the issue. You can refer to the mail and its subsequent replies at a later date, as those are available in a single thread. In case you wish to discuss another unrelated issue, it is always advisable to compose a new mail. Doubly check before clicking the send button. Before clicking the send button, you should ensure that you have checked the recipient address, read the message carefully, attached the required files, etc. Always take your time before sending the mail. Follow a proper format to write messages. It is important to organize the information in a proper format. Paragraphs can be used to highlight different issues. One has to maintain the flow of communication throughout the message. Next rule is, do not ask the recipient to recall a message. While drafting a mail, do not expect the receiver to, call, to recall your previous communication. So, it is suggested to provide a reference to previous communications and brief about the issues in your latest mail. Always use gender neutral language. It is very important to use gender neutral language while writing an email. Writing general messages and addressing employees as he can as he can offend others. Try to use gender neutral words like chairperson in place of chairman. Always provide a snapshot in case of lengthy mails. Even if you have to write a lengthy mail, always provide a snapshot of the contents of the mail. This will provide a better orientation to the receiver about the matters discussed in the mail. Apart from these rules, Always answer all questions while replying. It is always expected by the sender. Reply all the questions that have been asked in a mail. Provide all the required information. Any incomplete information adds confusion and distrust between the sender and the receiver of the mail. 
After understanding all the do's and don'ts for effective email writing, consider this well-written email message. In this message, we can easily notice that the professional email IDs are being used for sender and the receiver. Also, there is a clear subject line mentioning request for reference followed by a correct salutation in the form of Dear <coughs> Professor Gera. After that, greetings for the day is being incorporated. After looking at the first paragraph, it can be observed that it is professionally written with a clear language. In the second paragraph, the request has been made in clear wordings. In the final paragraph, the sender has shown the availability for further discussion on the issue referred in the subject line. At the end of the email, there is a complimentary close with the line, It is an honor to work under your guidance and supervision. Warm regards. Then, the name of the sender is written and its affiliation is mentioned along with contact details. So overall we can say that it is bearing all the characteristics for an effective email writing. So students, let's now summarize what we have learned in this module. We know that email is widely accepted. It is a communication tool which provides instant communication. That's why the corporate sector is totally dependent on this kind of communication tool. Email writing etiquettes are rules and guidelines for writing good email messages. It focuses on each component of an email. Email etiquettes allows you to write good email messages. For that, you have to follow do's and don'ts of writing good emails. And finally, more and more practice about drafting an email message makes you a professional email writer.